Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be about the information that is available on the instrument cluster of the Volkswagen Polo and the Vento. Uh, this will only be available on the Highline and the uh, comfort line models. It isn't available on the uh, trend line models. That's the basic mo the basic versions of these two cars. Uh, the car we have here is a 2013 uh, 1.6 uh, GT TDI. So all this information will be very similar or will be available on the uh, the latest models of the Polo as well. So uh, to begin with, um, if you do see the center portion of the instrument cluster, you would notice that it's divided into four parts. Uh, the first part being the uh, the time. Uh, the third part being the uh, the order reading of this car, and the fourth part being the fuel uh, gauge. So what we are basically going to talk about right now is the second portion. And in my case, if you do see, uh, it says uh, 50 kilometers. So that is the fuel range. And that is the approximate calculation of the distance in kilometers uh, that can still be traveled with the current fuel under the current driving conditions. So getting over to the next option, we have something over here, which is, it says 35 liters. So that is the amount of fuel that is required in order to uh, fill up my tank. Uh, this wasn't available by default. That was something that I had to activate via some coding. And uh, the next thing we have over here, it says uh, 18 kilometers. So that is the distance uh, traveled since the ignition was uh, switched on. And... Uh, we have something over here which says 17 kilometers per hour with uh, an O which has been striked. So that is the average speed. And uh, the average speed will be shown after a distance of approximately 100 meters. And uh, the display would show uh, dashes until this point. And uh, this would uh, be updated approximately every 5 seconds. And this is the uh, digital display of the speed where uh, the speed is displayed digitally and uh, this is something very interesting um, right so this is a speed uh, uh, I wouldn't say a speed limiter but it's a, a speed warning this is something we'd be able to set over a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and the car would beep every time you exceed that speed just to make sure uh, we are in, in within our speed limits and this is the outside temperature of the car. And um, this is the driving time, right? So it's shown in hours and minutes. And uh, this is calculated since the engine or the ignition was turned on. The next option we have here is uh, current fuel consumption. And um, this is displayed only when the vehicle is in motion. And... Um, it is measured in kilometers uh, per liter. This is the average fuel consumption. Um, so this is displayed after a distance of approximately 100 meters and until then uh, it would be uh, shown as uh, dashes. And again, this is updated every uh, approximately every five seconds. And again, we are back to square uh, one where it says uh, the range is shown. And... Uh, the way we change that is uh, with these buttons right here. This is forward and this is backward. Do notice the way uh, the display changes as well. So when I, this is going forward and this is going backward. And there is another button right over here which says OK Reset. So what happens when I uh, press this button, the OK Reset button is, have a look at the, uh, the instrument cluster. So, do you notice that uh, the numbers are changing in the second portion? So, right here, you do notice this one. When I press the OK and reset button, it changes to two. So, one means uh, trip one and two means trip two. So, the trip two computer or the trip two information is an extended, uh, for, it works for an extended period of time. 
So that memory collects journey data for any number of individual journeys up to a total of 19 hours and 59 minutes or 19, no, I'm sorry, 99 hours and 59 minutes of journey time or uh, 9,999 kilometers of distance traveled. And that is if any one of these information is exceeded, uh, the memory is automatically deleted and reset to zero. And that is only for the trip two. For the trip one, it is on, uh, uh, well, it gets reset every two hours if the ignition is turned off for more than two hours. Uh, so now coming to these buttons. So this is to set the time. And uh, if we press this once, we see the time blinking there, the hours blinking. So to adjust that, we press this. And we press this again, it changes to minutes. We can again go ahead and adjust that. We press it again, it takes us to the service interval of the car. So 71 being the days, the number of days left for service. And uh, 5,700 meaning, that's 5,700 kilometers that's left uh, for the next service. And uh, over here, when we press this once, we see the odometer right here that changes to a trip computer. So that says 41.8. So that is the trip reading of this car. So again, that would get reset after uh, 1,999 kilometers. Again, gets back to zero. Right. So that's about today's video, guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for any new videos. Thanks for watching, guys.